Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Today's video is going to be something I haven't done in quite some time. It's a collaboration with Isabella Lucia. Once you guys watch my video, be sure to head on over to Isabella's channel and subscribe to hers as well. She is such a sweetheart. Her channel has a little bit of everything, including vlogs, beauty, lifestyle, um, back to school type of videos, college life. So definitely be sure to head on over after you guys watch my video. I will link all of her information in the description box down below. As you can tell by the title of my video, our collaboration is going to be about our favorite items from 2018. Most of mine, uh, which will be beauty related. So without further ado, I'm going to jump on into it because I feel like I have quite a big of things and I don't want to be too long winded about it all. So I'll go through each as quickly and efficiently as possible. So I think I'll start with face care since that's what's most important and that's the foundation for everything so usually morning and night I will wash my face with the same product but um, it is this clean and clear night relaxer it's a gel face wash and I'll try to link everything I'm mentioning down in the description as well so usually in the morning time um, I will just use a washcloth with this stuff but at night not every night um, at night, I will pair it with my Mia Clarisonic 2. And I have the sensitive brush head on mine right now. Um, and again, I wash my face every night, obviously, to remove the makeup and stuff. But I like to use this just only a few nights out of the week because even though it's a sensitive brush head, anything that abrasive on your skin can just cause more irritation than necessarily helping uh, remedy anything. So... I don't use this often and I don't apply pressure to my face when using it but I can definitely feel a difference in my skin and see a difference in my skin after using this brush. As I've mentioned before with um, anyone starting to use a Clarisonic or a face brush of any kind you may first start to see breakouts before you see your skin clearing up and that is because these things are designed to bring everything to the surface of your skin and then it will kind of you'll start to see your skin clear up after that. But this is a really gentle face cleanser. I haven't had any issues with it. It doesn't have like any really any smell to it. It's just a mild, scentless formula, and I love it. Also, to get rid of dirt and makeup every night, I like to use these Equate face wipes. Not gonna lie, sometimes I will use my daughter's baby wipes because they essentially do the same thing, and they're just really gentle on your skin. I don't like anything really scented or hard on the skin, but these from Equate are exfoliating towelettes. Um, sometimes I get the purple pack, which is for nighttime use because at the end of the day is when we remove our makeup typically. But I really like this one too. This one has cucumber and aloe and green tea, and it's really soothing for the skin. So again, to remove everything off, I will use one of these guys, and then I'll either wash my face with a washcloth and the soap I just showed you, or I'll use my Clarisonic Mia 2 and go back over to make sure everything is off my face. After my face is washed and sometimes also in the morning before applying my makeup, I like to use some rose water. I think this is a nice way to finish off my skincare routine and this is by Garnier Skin Active. This is the uh, Soothing Facial Mist. It's rose water without parabens, dyes, or silicone. It's a vegan formula. It smells really good. It's not strong scented at all. It's really light and fresh and once you put this on your skin, you just feel your skin is it's just like rejuvenating. It's dewy, it's vibrant, and after it dries, after a few moments, you can just feel the smoothness to your skin. So I feel like it really helps restore those cells after you've washed and scrubbed your face. And it's also really nice to use as a setting spray. Also for moisturization and just to prep my face before I apply my makeup, I use a couple of things. But one of the things that I've gotten was this um, rose gold serum that I purchased and found in Target, no, not Target, TJ Maxx. And this is by Azure Lux. It's a sparkling oil serum with luxury, hydrating, toning, and rejuvenating, wrinkle reducing, 24 karat gold and rose hip. I don't know how much gold and rose hip is in this thing, but it works for me. And I feel like the formula is really also mild, which is important because a lot of things that are fragranced or have like these little speckles of shimmer in them can irritate my skin pretty easily because I think I do have quite sensitive skin but after you complete your cleansing routine you just want to apply a little bit to your face and neck and gently massage it into your skin and you can use it daily before you put on your makeup like I said um, 
It has a little dropper for application, which makes it a lot easier. And you don't need a lot. And I want to say this thing was under $6. It could have been like five bucks or something like that, but I love it. If I'm not using that, the other thing I will use is a simple hydrating booster, which I've talked about before in previous videos of mine for you guys. Um, and this is another one. There's actually three different ways you can use this. You can use it as a hydrating primer layer. Um, you can use it as a booster. You can add a few drops to your favorite daily moisturizer that is or for a very dry, dehydrated area of your face, you can apply it directly before applying your moisturizer. Speaking of primers, Soap & Glory has one of my favorite primers, which is one heck of a blot. This one does very well at blocking out shine and reducing your pores, and I think it doesn't smell like anything to me. Um, it's very creamy and lightweight at the same time, but this is one of my favorite primers, and if I'm not using this one, I'm usually just using a little cheapy deepy until I replace this, but really, really recommend this one, especially if you have larger pores like I do. For a foundation, I have really been using two this year, and the first one I'm going to show you is the one I have on now. It is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. I really like that it has a pump for application, and I use this with my Beauty Blender to apply it. And I like to get my sponge a little damp when I put this on, because I will say that even though I really like the formula of this foundation, it does have a little bit more of a yellow undertone than my skin does. I think I'm more of a pink undertone, but it works. Sometimes I will mix it with my other favorite, which is by CoverGirl, and it is the True Blend Matte Made Foundation, which is actually not really drying. I'm really out of it. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like I have some, but I don't. But I really like this foundation, um, and I use Light Ivory, which is L20 in this brand. Um, even though I really love it, I think my only one, I don't want to say complaint, but like kind of a weird factor about it is when you first put it on, it looks like there's like little speckles in it. I don't know if it's just like certain batches or like all of them, but I've heard other people say the same thing too, that they noticed it as well. I really, really like this foundation because it's so lightweight. It goes on seamlessly, very nice. You don't see any lines of, you know, discoloration. It doesn't seem to oxidize throughout the day. But again, I do notice those speckles which seem to kind of dissipate with time slash the use of my next product I'm going to show you, which is the translucent setting powder. I have been using Airspun pretty much this whole year, and it is the best like $5 I've ever put on my face ever. This is a translucent loose face powder. Um, it's extra coverage. They have different ones, which I really didn't notice when I picked this one up. I think they have some with more of like a peachy undertone or some that are not as um, full coverage as this, but this has lasted for quite some time. Um, it is a little messy, but this is what the inside of it looks like. So you just need to shake very little into the center here, and I usually dab it um, with my Beauty Blender and go into my under eye area and around here where it tends to get creased or red throughout the day. Um, sometimes I'll just use a little fluffy brush and just swirl it all over my face. Whatever I'm feeling like. I think today I actually use the brush. But love it, love it, you must have it. If you don't have a translucent setting powder and really don't want to put a lot of money into one, this is great for not only beginners but veterans as well. And anyone will tell you this is five dollars well spent. Next let's talk about lashes. So while I'm not wearing them today nor have I worn them in quite some time, these lashes for days I found at Marshalls. It was a five pack, yeah, for eight dollars found it at Marshalls and it comes with lash adhesive. I haven't used it. I always use the Duo Lash Glue but these are so wispy and light and natural looking even though they're super long. They don't, you know, weigh my face down so to speak they're not overbearing on my face i get a lot of compliments when i wear them people think they're my actual lashes people think i just have really long beautiful lashes and it gives me that look that i'm always trying to achieve this is the glam wispy and black so again it's lashes for days and again you guys i will try to link everything that i'm talking about in the box down below so be sure to click on the links if you're interested in purchasing any of these items in today's video while we're on the topic of eyes even though these palettes are fairly new for me i've been wearing them more than anything lately the first one is the urban decay naked and this is the pt 
Petite, <laughs> Petite Heat Palette. And I really love the shades inside. When I first saw it, um, this was a gift that when I first saw it, I was like, oh, they're pretty, but I didn't think they would be as pigmented as they are. If you're looking at what I'm wearing on my face today, then you see just truly how beautiful these colors are. They are so natural, and that is my favorite favorite type of palette. I love natural shades. But yeah, I really love using the inhale for my inner corner. Um, I think this is vibrant. Vibrate for my brow. Hot Spell is very pretty. They're all very pretty colors. Right now I'm wearing Wild Thing, Heist, and Strike. Beautiful, beautiful colors. What I am wearing is one of the colors from my other favorite palette, which is the Morphe Artistry Palette. And these colors are freaking amazing. You can do so much with this palette. I think I'm wearing Tell Me More on my lid, which is that right there. So the color Tell Me More is the other one I'm wearing. But yes, I love these. It's like every color you could possibly need. Some shimmer, some matte, beautiful highlight colors. There's just so much you can do with that palette. Um, which is kind of similar to my third favorite eyeshadow palette that I just couldn't get enough of this year. And it's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So it kind of looks like the same in one sense or another, but not quite the same. I feel like these had more shimmer in the shadows than the Artistry palette does. But very much so love this palette. You can see how much I've used these shades and I just really love, you can tell all the natural colors, the nudes and things like that I've picked through. I just really love natural shadows. And I told you guys I wanted to start experimenting with more bold, bright and beautiful colors. But these palettes, I feel like you can use them all year round, day or night. It just, they're just so beautiful. We're almost done, you guys. I told you I didn't want to be really long-winded about some of this stuff. But I just had so many things I wanted to share with you guys. So... For my brows you guys know at one point in time i was really big on using a uh, wonder brow which i haven't used in quite some time i do very much so love that product but i've just been really happy with these two pomades that i'm going to mention because they are lasting for an eternity and they're under 30 bo uh, 30 bucks you don't have to really use a lot a little goes a long way, especially with the first one I'm going to talk about, which is the Kat Von D um, pomade. And this is a medium brown shade, which is what I'm wearing now. Anything with Kat Von D is going to be more intense, more vibrant. And that's exactly what her pomade is. It's a lot more creamy. It actually comes with a brush design, especially for this formula to use. And I do have that brush um, as well. But any angled brush or brow brush will do. I really, really love this one because it just makes my brows look super bold and stand out and it's so easy to apply. So I would highly recommend Kat Von D's Brow Pomade. Um, and she also has not only the natural colors, but she does have bolder colors as well, like blue, pink, purple, green, and those type of shades as well. So check her out love it of course the queen of eyebrows miss anastasia beverly hills i have her brow pomade as well and i actually got the shade chocolate which this one i feel like has dried out a little bit um with time even though it stays you know sealed up really well um i have to kind of move it around with the brush to get it kind of creamy again but when I want a lighter brow, not so intense and dramatic, I tend to grab for this one because it does just that. It gives it a nice subtle natural look, like it fills in my brows beautifully. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays on all day. And again, these are both probably under $30. I get a lot of questions about my eyeliner and how I apply it. Actually, Maria Estella recommended um, on one of her Instagram stories the Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof Liner, which has a felt tip applicator. Um, usually not a huge fan of those, but this one is really um, efficient. And as you guys know, it's a H2, not H2O, it's a Wet n Wild product, so it's not super expensive, but it's pretty precise and it stays on all day. It is super hard to remove so it literally is waterproof i have to use my um 
face wipes and then of course like sometimes some micellar water or something a little bit more stronger um, to get it off of my face and then scrub 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 really really well because this will not go anywhere literally a little bit will go a long way so it's lasting for a while for it to be probably under five dollars it's a steal and a must-have because it's super black super bold and again it's waterproof last but not least for the eyes my favorite newfound favorite mascara that is is by essence it is lash princess it is a volumizing mascara the formula is very thick and creamy and it is also pretty water resistant this one i found in ulta one day and it has a curved brush i really like this type of brush it makes it a lot easier to get up in there and brush through your lashes separates them beautifully it makes them look longer and it lasts all day I think it makes your eyes pop it's a very good mascara and this one was probably around four or five dollars as well last but not least we're going to talk about lips so I'll start with the lipstick that I'm currently wearing it is a MAC matte lipstick it is called flat out fabulous and it looks like that I have a liner to go with it but I can't find it at the moment. So I just applied it like this today. And it's very important to first um, moisturize your lips with like a lip balm or something so that it's not just chalk-like on your face because it is very matte, very matte. But it's a beautiful, vibrant color. And of course, it's not going anywhere. I've had this on all day. I have not yet reapplied it. And you can eat, drink, whatever and it's not going anywhere i think this beautiful color looks good on most skin tones and i really feel like you can wear it i wear it a lot in the um not necessarily summer but like springtime and a lot in the fall so get you some so yeah all of my lipsticks i like for the same reason because of the color payout and how long they last throughout the day so the second one that i wear a lot of is my nyx liquid suede this is a cream lipstick it's not really drying at all even though it says liquid suede this is in the color soft spoken and it has a nice little brush applicator at a slight angle It's a very neutral, very beautiful color, and I think it does make your lips look very um, defined. So if you have finer or smaller lips, um, this is actually very pretty. If you have a little bit more plump lips, I think it will look even more beautiful. I've seen me post a lot of pictures or stories on my IG wearing this one or my other favorite, which is by ColourPop, and it is Beeper. It's an oldie but a goodie. I think most people know about Beeper. Um, the colors, or not the colors, the letters and wording have faded off over time, but Beeper is very similar to Soft Spoken, but I feel like it's a little bit more drying and matte. My next favorite is an Essence brand. It is in the shade Matte Matte Matte, I believe. Um, at least that's what it says. This is the color here. very pretty plum purpley color and of course I love this especially for the fall time and it is very matte 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 so once more be sure to moisturize your lips before applying that color that was very cheapy deepy from Ulta I want to say it was like two or three dollars and it is such a beautiful color it's a little bit deeper than what I'm wearing now from matte from MAC, <laughs> but I get a lot of compliments about this one as well. Last but not least, my last favorite is a Clinique um, lipstick. This is Cherry Pop, and it is very moisturizing, quite the opposite of the others I'm showing you guys. So it is a very vibrant red. It is a very true red. I don't get any orange undertones to it or anything like that when applying it. It's a very lustrous lippy. So um, when you do put it on, it actually has like a sheen to it. So it's very creamy and very shiny and it's so beautiful. And um, it can get a little messy because it's not matte. It does transfer or move around very easily. So. It's best to use a lip liner with it, which I do have the matching liner for this as well. I just wanted to pinpoint the lipstick for you guys, but there is a lip liner you can get that matches it. A little off topic from makeup, but it's still to me health and beauty related. It is this Dove Dry Spray and Girl. This is the only one I've been using. It's the Beauty Finish. It's a 48 hour anti-press 
non-irritant and that was so important to me because once again a lot of perfumey scented type things can irritate my skin to death but this goes on very dry very it dries very quickly basically there's not like any marks or stains on your clothing or underarm area and it smells so good it is also very soft like if you touch your underarms you feel like you just put some kind of specialized moisturizer in your armpits because it's amazing it's a little bit more than um, your typical deodorant, but it's very well worth it. I want to say they can be five to six dollars depending on where you get it from, and it's not like it's a whole lot. It's a three point out, three point eight ounce can, but um, I typically pick mine up from Target or Walmart. And this is the only scent I've used. If you guys know of a different one that smells just as good or better, please let me know. But I'm really, really loving this one. The only other thing I can think of to mention to you guys is my favorite perfume which i just re-upped on thanks to my mama for christmas it is daisy by mark jacobs and you guys know how much i really love this scent it's so girly so light and it's not too florally which is important because i don't like stuff that smells too florally i just think it's a perfect lightweight beautiful beautiful soft scent and the bottle is adorable who doesn't love pretty bottles that's for the most part while we get the perfume aside from the smell right but yeah you guys that's everything for my 2018 favorites i really hope you guys enjoy this video it's something different for my channel and again i haven't collabed with anyone in quite some time so thanks isabella for collaborating with me on this video you guys be sure to head on over to her video next and check her out i really hope you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head on out of here i'll see you guys in the next video bye